gentlemen. Thanks for joining us here today <coughs> at Frederick's Restaurant here in Islington. And we thank them for hosting the press conference. We're here today to uh, announce the changes of opponents and the, uh, the, the fights that are taking place on the 15th of February at the Copper Box Arena at the Queen Elizabeth Park in Stratford on the 15th of February. Um, the show will feature the w, uh, Derek Chisora defending his WBO and WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight titles and he will be uh, facing Kevin Kingpin Johnson. Uh, Kevin Johnson um, is well respected as a heavyweight. He's, uh, he actually fought Tyson a few years ago. Tyson beat him on, or a year ago. Tyson beat him on points. Uh, he lost also on points to Vitaly Klitschko. Um, and has wins over the number one WBO uh, challenger, Ale Alex Lepaya, who uh, he stopped in nine rounds. It's uh, been a nuisance we've had to change opponents, but his original opponent was Denko Tora uh, Cartledge, and he's obviously not able to fight. Um, not the ideal situation, but there is a professional. Um, he knows that these things happen, and obviously it's a fight that, again, he can't afford to slip up for, up on the pitches. We've got some good things to move forward on if he comes through this final game. Also on the card, Deputy will be uh, under my promotion in association with McHennessy, will be Tyson Fury, and he will be boxing against Gattiano Nespro, who comes from Italy, Record is 21 wins, 9 losses and 1 draw. I'm oh, sorry, got it wrong. Gonzalo Omar Basil. See you a moment, see you a moment. Sorry, I'll start that again. Tyson Fury will be boxing an international heavyweight contest against Gonzalo Omar Basil from Buenos Aires, Argentina. He's the IBF Latino champion. 61 wins, 8 losses, 28 KOs. Um, Tyson, you know, um, through no fault of his own, has, been, has, has only had one fight last year. Uh, as we all know, trained very hard for um, the challenge with David Hay, but David Hay for, uh, pulled out because of injury, so it's very frustrating for him. But Derek sort of knows what that's like as well. Um, the night before a fight, it happened with him with Klitschko, he pulled out the fight. But the name of the game is for these two guys to, to hopefully look good, win their fights on the 15th, and I'm quite sure in the summer I can get a final eliminator uh, sanctioned by the WBO for, a, for the, the uh, world title uh, against Klitschko. So it's something that we're working on, uh, but obviously the two guys can't slip up. We've also got on the undercard some of our best young fighters, and that's all in the press pack, so you'll see who they are. But I'm very excited that I'm working with Mick and with Tyson and, and Peter, and uh, I'm excited that we, we get, we're trying to put together the, fa the fights that the fans want to see. And it is a fight that the fans want to see. Um, Derek, last time out, got beat. Got beat by the better man on the night, uh, the man who prepared properly for his fight and then um, you know we take our hat off to Tyson what he but they both changed in my opinion as fighters over the last uh, few years since that fight took place. Tyson's come on in leaps and bands and also as uh, Derek Chisora he's been with high quality opposition. He's coming up with four, four good wins last year and hopefully uh, this year he continues to keep winning, setting up this big fight for the summer. Um, Everybody you need to speak to is at the top table. I'm sure you've got some questions to ask, so please feel free to do so. Mm -hmm. Tyson, your point of view, just tell us a little bit about how you came about with your friend. That is for me to know and you to find out. Next question. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been one of those things where I've been frustrated and no fights have happened and Frank went up to us and we worked out a deal. That's all I'm up to. How soon after the fallout was Hay did you decide that this was the route that you were going to go down? I found this out about four days ago, so it's all brand new. to the details of it all, um, but we have a promotional deal and 
that's where we are. We're, it's, you know, we're working with St. Nick, who's uh, tasked as promoter on this. Um, it's no secret, I'm, as well as Derek's uh, promoter, I'm his manager. So um, that's where we are, and I'm going to do the best for my man. <coughs> the best for my man is to fight the best that's around. And the best around, best around, in my opinion, is Tyson Fury. And the two best heavyweights outside the Klitschko's, or Klitschko now, in uh, Europe, if not the world. I can't see too many out there that um, I would worry about with either of these guys fight. That's what we're looking at to do is at West Ham. few questions there. First one, uh, the David A question. A um, few things to say about him really. It's a fucking bitch, pussy. He wouldn't fight Tyson Fury. Um, end of that one. Second one, training in the south of France, beautiful. Best place I've ever been in the world to train, you know. Beautiful sunshine, paradise, waking up every morning. Um, very good, sun on your back, beats the cold. Third one, Vitaly Klitschko retiring. Good riddance to the grandpa robot. It was never any good. He wouldn't fight any real opposition. And uh, you know, he retired because he knew I was coming for him. That was that. So, do you feel that the, the, the divisions really opened up if you had the So, listen, the division has been wide open for a long time. There just ain't been many people to go there and smash them titles off them. You know, Vladimir, he promised the winner of me in Delboy in the first time to fight. You know, we never got the fight with him. I, again, I'd say he's similar to David A, but a bit worse, actually, because he likes to tie everybody up. But. It's, uh, I just can't wait. I can't wait to get these few fights going, uh, have a rematch with Chisora, and then uh, take take Vlad's head off, really. That's all I want. I've been gunning him down for the past two or three years now, and I'm getting no further forward. So I'm actually glad that this fight's a final eliminator, so he'll either vacate that WBO or fight me for it. And you see Chisora as a much improved fighter since the last time you met him? You know, 100%. I see a lot of improvement in Derek. He's um, a lot fitter. A lot stronger, a lot, he's a lot better uh, conditioned athlete now. He's been dedicated in 13, he's got four good wins, you know. He's been in there with Klitschko, and in my opinion, he was beating David A. just dropped his hands for one second. If he would have kept him up for another one round, he went for the kill too soon, a little bit too soon. He got caught, which can happen to anybody. Um, but yeah, I see a very big, improved fighter in Del Boy, and I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be one, one of the great British heavyweight fights because I won in 2011 was a great fight, don't forget that one. This one can be even better. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Yeah. But first, we'll get this one away. You know, um, yeah, Derek's got a, got a tough job. You know, he's a durable guy. I don't believe he's been stopped, um, and it's a yeah, it's a tough fight for him. He knows his way around. He's a cute guy. He's not a bad boxer. Um, and you know, say, at least Derek's got three weeks to prepare for him, whereas he was looking at the other guy. But um, you know, if he's going to fight a Tyson Fury and fight a Klitschko, then he's got to beat Kevin Johnson. Derek, you must be pleased uh, for a second crack, put, put the record books right. Oh, uh, you mean Kevin Johnson? Uh, yeah, you know what, it's going to be a great fight, but it's going to be a long night, you know, because the guy don't like going down. So. I'm excited. Uh, I was told about this guy in the, in the last 20 minutes, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. Tyson, I'll probably be training abroad. Um, I don't really like training here anymore. It's too cold in the winter. You get uh, cold right in your bones. I don't like it. I'd rather be in the sun. So I'll probably train training abroad for a year. Tyson, the two Surprise with didn't come off. How much did that cost you in uh, training and other expenses? Do you put a figure on that? Let's just say it wasn't a nice, uh, it wasn't a nice uh, figure. I wasn't, it wasn't happy with what happened, and uh, that's it. I'm not really going to go into that again because it's old news, water under the bridge. I don't really care about that anymore. You know, I've been let down, and that's it. Well, now I'm being repaid for another great fight, so I'm really happy that it's, uh, it's all worked out in the end. Yes. 
obviously I've got some, obviously the you know, four point jobs of just catching on the end of your jam for most of that time, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. one you very much boxed in. Um, really any advice for Derek when he faces this job? Yeah, you know, he's a, he's a good fighter, Kevin. Um, but I'm sure a, a good fit Derek is all allowed working. Um, if he stops him, it will be a great, great achievement because it, I hit the guy with some tremendous punches and he's fought to one. Stop the Klitschko's punches as well, you know. But just keep him moving, keep him turning, and, and keep boxing him, really. Punches in bunches, them Americans, they don't like it, they're unfit, they don't train. And uh, us lot, we do train, so punches in bunches and keep him turning. Game over, unanimous decision. More questions? What was the fight again before the summer? Probably. Probably. But the fight will be, you know, the one they both win, will be a uh, WBO eliminator for the title. So if it was a final eliminator, they get their chance at the end of the year, because that's the WBO. He's fighting uh, league. Yeah, he's got that fight, so it's the end of the year. And why wouldn't he want to fight? Who else is there to fight? You know, people want to see real fights. You know, the heavyweight division, it's a shame really, it's, it's just in some ways, because there were two brothers, you never had a, a definitive chance. We always talk about Klitschko, Brown, and one fighter. I think now that there's only one fighter, we are where you know, it makes it better for everyone. And uh, the fact of the matter is, he's going to have to defend these titles or make sure it will vacate. We can't just go on now, you know, hand picking guys. That's not going to be the, uh, I don't think that's going to be good for anyone. It's certainly not good for him. And, uh, and there's also the WBC title. He's going to meet us talk about that this morning, isn't it? You know, the, uh, see the outcome of that one, see that the tile is given up the title. Any more questions? We're all done? Do you want one of those guys? Uh, I was going to have the, um, the Phil Kemp's first.